Do we have any idea of what killed Langstrom yet? Hard to say much until these computers are up and running. Or we can examine the body, but for what it's worth, my gut says we're dealing with a who, not a what. Well, that makes me feel slightly better, I guess. Before you head back, though... We got something to do, Belfry? The hard drive from Langstrom's lab requires a biodecryption key. Biodecryption? That definitely tracks with what I saw in his lab. I guess I'm heading to the GCPD morgue, huh? Indeed. With knights in Gotham as they are, it should be quiet at the station. Relatively. Don't worry. I know my way around.
another busy night. Hope that makes it easier to sneak inside the station. I remember when they'd let me use the front door. Now, where was the morgue again? The morgue's moved to the far side, past the bullpen. Do your best to keep quiet. Has to be another way around. Goddamn freaks. That's my daughter's school. We got a few in lockdown. One car. Did anyone claim that John Doe body? Buff guy. I'd pay a hundred bucks for five minutes alone in charge your body cam off. Ticker. 
I grew an ear on my shoulder. Shut up or I'm coming in. It fell off and then I ate it. Keep that crap to yourself, weirdo. You still got Betsy? I need what I wouldn't give to see that signal in the sky again. I ain't got no trust left. The morgue is just on the other side of the bullpen. Now would be a particularly bad time to be spotted. Will you stop giving me shit? Bad enough, I'm right in his desk. Kane's got me in her sights. I need to keep my nose clean for a while. She's definitely overreacting. I barely hit that kid. Not my fault he tripped and hit the curb. Yeah, goddamn parents want to sue the city. Good thing he's got priors. <laughs> They sure released the Langstrom scene quick. The freak showed up. Kind of took the attention away. Plus, you know, we've got to... No way any of this would have gone. Dad was commissioner. <laughs> Sergeant, perhaps. Team. Did someone target them specifically? Watch your back. Good. Still breathing.
Langstrom. Guess the ME was in the middle of the autopsy. You're looking for a bio decryption key. So a device, I guess. Out. Langstrom's file didn't say anything about diabetes. Why would he need a glucose meter? You carry this to monitor your oxygen levels on the go. I had to stop playing this one. Too addictive. Heart condition, allergies. You can learn a lot about how a person lived and died from blood. In another life, I was a medical examiner. He modded the glucometer to conceal data, using his blood for bioencryption. Belfry, the GCPD just clued in that Talia's been here. Better split. Way ahead of you. They're coming in heavy, so be careful. Wait. That man never told me he had access to the GCPD systems. Now I guess I do too? And now, for my next trick... Past time to sneak out of here. Entrance is secure! Spread out! We'll find the perm! Keep going! They gotta be here somewhere! Belfry, the way to the exit is clear. Thanks. Happy to help. Can't wait to see what you found. Get out of here and give yourself up! cycle this quickly. Of course.
All right. Okay, lab notes, formulas, financial records, research into hearing loss, human experimentation and trials? That looks like cash payouts to volunteers. I recognize some of these jerks. They're all known gang members. So Langstrom was doing medical experiments on criminals. You're crowding me. Miss Gordon. The hollow imaging system is back online as of this morning. Perfect timing, Alfred. Hey, I forgot how sweet your setup was, Babs. It's ancient, but it'll do for now. You and Master Bruce are the only two people in the entire world who would consider the Belfry systems ancient. While researching Langstrom, I also called up all we've got on... our party crasher. Talia Al Ghul. She was a match for Master Bruce in more ways than one. Her presence in Gotham is concerning. So is the fact that she torched her old man's body. You sure that was Ra's al Ghul? His DNA was all over the weapon she left behind. I wonder why she didn't take a chance and use a Lazarus pit to revive him. Well, Batman would just find Talia and ask her himself. Good thinking. Yeah, I can double check Talia's kunai for trace materials that we can track. We should also hit the streets, find out if anyone had any beef with Langstrom. Sweet. Time to bust some skulls. data on the evidence board. I can't get over what Talia did to her father's body back there. Good riddance. Going in a Lazarus pit once is hell. Who knows what a thousand dunk would have done to him. So you think it really was a show of mercy? Oh, she was putting on a show, right. But I doubt it was mercy. Seems like Dr. Langstrom was into some pretty wild stuff. I wish he was still alive. I'd ask him what the heck he was thinking. Physical and mental preparation go hand in hand. Here, we can train the mind to prepare the body. 
but it requires deep focus. Let go of your pain, and pay attention to my voice. Time your dodge to create an opening for a powerful counterattack. As expected. Well done. Jim would be proud of you. Heard Montoya stuck it to Commissioner Kane back at the police station. Yeah, why do you think Dad liked her so much? Ah, uh, because she was fiercely loyal to him. No, because she wasn't afraid to call people on their shit. Including him. Sometimes I wake up in the middle of the night, expecting Bruce to call me for help. And then I remember. I thought it might have been one of you calling just now. I was worried. Old habits, I suppose. I get it. Waiting for the calls to come in, it was the hardest part of being Oracle. Being out there again, it's different. But Bruce was right. Gotham needs us. And I'll be here to support you. Gotham is in good hands. erupted at Gotham University after a local gang known as the Freaks vandalized and set fire to multiple buildings. Police made numerous arrests after the blaze tore through the campus library built more than 150 years ago. Irreplaceable collections valued in the millions were destroyed, and at least one man, believed to be an employee of the university, was found dead at the scene. Authorities have not said whether the man's death is connected to the fire. The victim's name has not been released, pending a forensic investigation. This is GCN. I'm Noor Rashid.
Bruce never mentioned Langstrom's name to you? Not once, Master Richard. He had a variety of cases he kept from me, but never one this important. We'll figure it out. Of that, sir, I have no doubts. And we will do it together. Ready to move on. All right, let's hear it. Oh, whatever, hero! I got your answers! Much obliged. <laughs> Just what I wanted to hear. I expect no less. Jim would be proud of you. Gotham is mourning the loss of the millionaire philanthropist Bruce Wayne, who perished earlier this month after his home collapsed into a sinkhole. Colonel Jacob Kane, CEO of Kane Industries and Wayne's uncle, gave the eulogy during a funeral at Gotham Cemetery. Though Wayne's contributions were at times overshadowed by public antics, he was a prominent philanthropist and pillar in Gotham's business community. Wayne chaired the Martha Wayne Foundation, and he was often lauded for growing his family business into one of the city's most valuable companies, with interests in everything from medical technology to shipping and aeronautics. I think I speak for many in Gotham when I say Wayne will be sorely missed. This is Noor Rashid with GCN.
me ask again. Getting closer. Someone please! I need help! <laughs> 
Tell me what you know about Kirk Langstrom's murder. I didn't know the Mope was dead! Uh, and the guy gave us good money to let him inject us with stuff. You sure it wasn't a Damn robbery it, or something? Get me out of here. Thanks for the info. I don't know what I would have done without you. Get home safe.